story tonight. A business traveler from Nebraska is outraged by what happened during a recent stay at a Utah hotel. And now he is sharing the story to make sure others know about it. ABC 4's Rick Gare live in West Valley City with the details. Rick. Well, Don, it's a story that just might make your skin crawl. James Stapleton told me that he checked into this Home 2 Suites on Parkway Boulevard last Tuesday, and it was in room 308 where he had a gross encounter of the bed bug kind. James Stapleton says he woke up Wednesday morning completely covered in sore, itchy bed bug bites. I mean, I was just disgusted. When he complained, the hotel's management moved him to room 228 on the opposite side of the hotel, where he claims he found more bed bugs, this time dead ones. If these things are on opposite ends of the hotel and I'm running into the same thing, clearly there's a larger issue here. Laura Lee is a public health inspector for the Salt Lake County Health Department. She told me that all public lodging facilities are inspected once a year and after complaints. We do pull back the sheets and look, look for evidence of bed bugs. Um, you can look for the bodies, you can look for the cast off shells, you can look for the blood spots, because what they do, they, after bed bugs eat, which is your blood, they wander off someplace, they digest, they defecate, they go off and hide. Lee says the small parasites don't transmit diseases, but admits they are, as she says, icky. Today, the manager of the hotel, Tim Erickson, told me that they had their pest control company come out and take care of the problem. As for Stapleton, he says he won't step foot in here again. Plus, he wants a full refund and hopes he didn't take any unwanted souvenirs back to Omaha. I have a three-year-old son and a 10-month-old daughter. God forbid I, I bring those things home, you know. So uh, I'm hoping that I didn't, but how do you know? Now, if you want to check out a hotel before you check in, there's now a way to do that because the Salt Lake County Health Department is now posting their inspection reports online. We'll put that link up for you on our website, abc4.com. Reporting live in West Valley City, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. Rick, thank you very much. Now, you